Okay, so to start off, skincare first, this nail mousse. Then my wash up. Next is a hydrating moisturizer. Little thing that comes with it. Just wash out again. Now we're using these Patchology, yeah, Patchology um, eye brightening patches. I'm gonna take these off. This in. It's like a serum. Start with my Fenty Beauty primer. And I watched this video, and this girl basically talked about how like she only used it on the places that she wants to be matte and I thought that was such a good idea so I only use it on the places that I'm putting it right now like a little bit there because I don't want my whole face to be matte so next to my all time favorite foundation and T-Beauty foundation it's in the shade 330 you, the way you apply this is like only in certain sections because it gets dry really quick. Just like this much. And I'm gonna start with like right here and then just make my way out. My beauty blender, which I wet. And then like oxidizes so it gets a little darker and just matches your skin tone perfectly if you find like the right shade. I always go a shade lighter with the Fenty products because, like I said, like they oxidize and just get darker and they perfectly match your skin tone. So you don't want to get one that's like exactly your skin tone in the bottle because when you put it on your skin, it'll be dark. So going on to different sections of my face, I'm just going to keep applying. The most of my marks are like down here, so that's why I like I try to focus on there. So I kind of just sit and wait for it to like oxidize a little bit more. So the next product I'm using is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I got this one. It is in the color caramel. I like to draw a line here. I saw this girl who did my makeup once do this. I draw a line there. Do like that, and then. Okay, so I like it to be like a little tacky when I'm doing it so that it has like a little more coverage. That's why I let it sit. That look right there? Because look at how it looks. Okay, so I'm still looking for a powder that I really, really like. So right now I'm going to be using the Fit Me in this color. Like it's, it does the job, but I don't love it. You guys know it. So I'm gonna look up, well, I'll look up, but like, make sure there's no creases under my eyes. And then pat, just like that. I'm gonna go over here. I like brush it, but I like pat it in like this. So now we're gonna move on to contour, which is probably my favorite part. For cream contour, I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut and a little bit of this stuff. You do not need a lot, like, you'll see. Because when I first used it, I used to put, like, way too much. And if I had to blend it, I would keep blending. Then my forehead, which I think is, like, one of the most important parts because the... The shade of my foundation never really matches my forehead, so I like to like make sure that I'm contouring a little bit. It's like a little dark. I do my nose contour. I like follow this and just do like that basically. Ooh, that's like a little bit too much. Use my brush like I mean my beauty blender with this, and then. I use two different products and two different brushes to actually set my contour. So the first product I use is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It looks like this. 
and I use this angled brush. Just get into the contour. Next, I use this MAC um, NW40 Studio Fix. Pretty sure this is like a foundation powder. I've literally had it for like three or four years. But I literally always use this as bronzer. Always. And then I go like over top of the contour. Like, so this is where the contour is and this is where I put the bronzer. If that makes sense. For my nose contour, for like going over my nose contour, I use this like brush. This is from Morphe. I just define my nose contour. Now I'm gonna go into my favorite part. I already said the contour from my favorite part, but the blush is quite awesome in my favorite part. So I start off with my milk makeup blush. Warm it up. It gets warm really quick. So it's on both my hands. And then I just pat it in like that. So I like to do my an upward motion so that it like brings snatches up my face more. I go over it with this MAC blush in Burn. It's literally scratched off. Burn something or another. Stab it in like this. And then I like to do it down. Another thing for blush that I use is this Dior palette. And I use this color right here. And again, I just use the tip. to brows. This is like so out of order right now. But on to brows. I take this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil because I like so like teeny it is. can see. And then I just use the same NARS concealer and this brush. I some of my brows with this e.l.f. gel. I don't really think the gel matters, personally. For highlight, take the same palette. I do these two colors. Last but not least is lips. So I'm gonna take this, just do like that. And then I take my Dior Lip Glow Oil. It's in Mahogany. Like the darkest shade and this is literally like the best look plus glow oil ever okay this is the completed makeup look so i'm going to do my edges now and get dressed all right guys so this is the final look i'm ready to go for the day you guys enjoy watching this video me getting ready a little bit of my beauty tips and secrets and i'll see you guys next time